Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos where we're going to be looking into this dude, Cassidor Demon Scourge, an archer that has been in the game files for a while that we now finally got in the hero store for 2000 magic tickets. When you buy him, you can evolve into a light or dark version, they work completely differently and well, partially the same but also differently. So I'm going to be dedicating a video to each and every one of them and in this video we're going to be looking into the dark element version because he retaliates which is what we know already from seraph ariel something that has been massive in the game so i'm evolving him now to the max he can be as a dark element archer hero dark element archers is something we definitely need so it is really nice just to have that plus he looks amazing but all round guys this is a pretty 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 amazing hero that i would like to have had more of the, like the special skill of this hero deals 15% of target's maximum hit point, but it has a cap of 1200 attack point and a cap of 30% when it is max leveled up. It ignores defense and shields, so that is that is pretty cool. The passive ability on the dark element hero here means retaliation, but before we dig into it, it's an archer meaning that it will reduce armor whenever it basic attacks remember that basic attacks that is what we have on the passive skill health on the dude here is pretty decent okay for an archer the attack is amazing 400 percent affinity default 100 percent mana stuff so nothing really there the cool thing about this hero is that whenever he is attacked he will retaliate and ignore defense so that is really really strong if you are in a ping pong battle against another hero his support, not support, his commander skill supporting fire means that he will boost up by 65% and he will perform a basic attack whenever an ally attacks. He has critical hit chance, a high one, 35% and a 15% chance to dodge. So default archer stuff, but high on the crit rating, which is freaking awesome. Cool thing is that he works amazingly also when not as an archer not as an archer not as a commander he cannot not be an archer what am i talking about but anyway guys let's dig into 15 no not 15 7 22 11 the forgotten lands final map in the game to see how cassidor demon scourge works out i brought in sun wukong i brought in jillifer silent blade sky pirates and iron monkey iron monkey is also a commander here the cool thing is that whenever another hero performs a special attack this dude will go cray cray. Silent Blade will also go cray cray when somebody uses a damaging special ability which is something we see with the Iron Monkey and also from Sun Wukong so we can get some pretty cool stuff up and running. I'm starting out with Jillifer the Deceiver to just confuse the opponent giving us board control and now things are rolling. They're going to be attacking themselves, they're going to be attacking us a little bit and whenever we use a special ability Cassidor is gonna go cray cray and he ignores defense when he does that. So going Sky Pirate Ferris and we're gonna be seeing Silent Blade and Cassidor both dealing damage. So we can begin to stack up on heroes that attack whenever we do something else and look at the Iron Monkey. The cool thing about the Iron Monkey that is available from the Battle Crystal is that the clones will also use abilities if they have mana. So you can fill the board with clones that will all use a special ability and every time they do that Cassidor will go crazy dealing damage that ignores defense it is it is completely bollocks a mind-blowing amazing hero with so many cool synergizing options and cool options well that's the stuff you guys are showing me by using my support creator code Loga Hansen in the epic game store on the battle breakers game when you're using Loga Hansen a portion of sales goes to me and it lasts for 14 days or until you select another supporter creator. But anyway, let's just put in a pet here before moving to the next area managing cooldowns. I need Jillifer to be ready to rumble so that we can confuse. That is how I am controlling the game, making sure I'm in control and not the AI. So if they are confused, I should be pretty safe. Targeting a tower, going confusion pants and... As you can see, once again, Silent Blade attacking, Cassidor attacking. Even though Cassidor is on a cooldown, this free attack fires off and that is, <laughs> it is so fun to play with. It is, it is really, really amazing. 
So whenever we use a special ability, he will attack whenever an ally that is a summoned clone such as the one from Sun Wukong uses one or Iron Monkey, we will deal damage as well. Not just with one hero, with two, and if you have two Cassidors, no Cassidor, you're down! Uh, but if you had two of them, they would both attack just as when you have two Jillifers and you have confused opponents, they will both attack as well. So crazy with a high crit chance, free attacks multiple times per turn. We don't have this uh, maximum three times per turn kind of annoying thing with Cassidor. He can go as many times as special abilities are used in a turn and normally you would say, hey, you can only use one special attack per turn, but allies can go cray cray. You can fill the board with 5, 10, 15 allies and they can all perform a special attack in one turn. So that is crazy. But anyway, oh, Ryas, Dr. Green Pants, we're going to be confusing you and your friendly tip rallies like that. And once again, we have Silent Blade going crazy, but... I didn't bring in a healer this time, which uh, might have been a bad idea for making a video, but um, yeah, I mean, I put Cassidor in the main tank spot, and of course he was gonna get, of course he was gonna get ganked, so I'm probably gonna be using a pet to revive him, but for now we're just gonna move slowly but surely forward because it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm not, I'm not afraid. No, I am not afraid. We got this. Come on, Arias, you're going down. You're going down, bro. You're going down. Come on, come on, I want to see damage numbers from Cassidor. Oh yes, I do. I am dragging out time a little bit here because I need pet mana meter. I want to be using my cloud puff, my two summon cloud buff to revive Cassidor. I do have a one, a one cost pet, but I kind of wanted to get the two cost one out of the way so that I can use the one cost one later if, if I need to. I don't expect to be needing it, but... You never know what happens when you're gaming, so all readily right time to go away Orias so that we can move into the next room and get some fire spanking up and running when we're up against Firestar May. All readily, so come on Firestar, you're getting confused. Once again, targeting something, selecting Jillifer, going crazy, they are now confused, meaning that I can use my mojo. Look at that, I'm using Silent Blade to go into his uh, backstab hidden mode and even though I do that to deal more damage with him when he gets free attacks, Cassidor is attacking anyway. I don't even need to be using a damaging ability. I can use I can use Lifebringer Celestia, I can use like Sarah Sun Disciple to make him attack for free and that is just, it is crazy huge. I am so happy we have this hero. It is. Is, is really awesome. We're going to be taking him into the PvP as well to see how things play out, but like basic question, is this a must-have hero? No, it's not a must-have hero. It is definitely one of the stronger heroes we have in the game, probably like high top tier, but it's not a must-have hero. It's, it's not a must-have hero. It's a great hero. It's an even better hero if you can pair him with like really good synergies, Silent Blade, another Cassidor, but you need something for mana, you need something for survivability, you need a lot of stuff, and a Dark Element Archer is not a required thing in the game, but it is a very, very nice thing to have, so if you can spare the only 2,000 magic tickets that the Cassidor hero costs in the hero store, I don't know why it's only 2,000, normally they are 5,000, so it is a bargain, it is a steal, definitely if you can get both. I'm going to be looking into the light element version of the hero in another video right now where we're just playing with this dude so we're taking them a little bit standalone to see how they perform in a group. All right, Gabriel, you are getting Cassidored. Oh, <laughs> yes, you are getting Cassidored. It is now a thing. But first, you're getting jillied. You're getting jillyferred like that. Everything can't be freaking fused and... Yeah, I'm a little afraid of getting things back in my face, but... It looks like we're gonna make it like that. So should we just go Iron Monkey, fill the board, see the Iron Monkey clones use abilities and Cassidor taking out everything. Look at that. Every time... Oh, I forgot. Again, Gabriel is, of course, dealing damage to newly summoned things, meaning that clones are... Clones are not that good against Gabriel. That's uh, That one's on me, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, 
That was a noobish, noobish mistake, but he is still going cray cray, which is the most important thing. He took a, he took a beating, but um, he is definitely packing his punch and the damage numbers are real. So he is definitely worth including in a run like this in Forgotten Lands 2211. All right, guys, heading into some PvP, just setting up my group here with Cassidor Demon Scourge, going in to see how how is he in the PvP dual system. It's not much of a hero. I don't hear it's not much of a secret. I don't play it that much because the rewards are just junk. But the base concept for me playing in here is gonna be confusing with Jellyfer. If I can confuse again or load up Ariel and then confuse again. And Cassidor is going to be attacking each and every time I do anything because that is how he works. Whenever I use a special ability, he's going to be getting a free attack. It doesn't matter if he is on a cooldown or not. He's just going to be spanking left, right and pretty much everywhere in the game. Even when I heal with Lifebringer Celestia, which is kind of fun. Now we can finish things off by healing with Celestia and making Cassidor attack. I, th I think that is simply priceless. So I'm that alone makes the hero worth getting. <laughs> Honestly, it, it is a really great hero, really, really great hero, not a hero that will carry you in PvP duels in this, like the way the system is now, because he will get like stunned, he will get uh, charmed, he will get uh, confused is what it's called, and he is not a match for Seraph Ariel. I've been digging into the numbers, and even though his attacks ignore defense, and his basic attack will allow him to take a hero such as Seraph Ariel and make her go into a negative defense to take even more damage if they pit up against each other in a retaliation battle, which is what I hope to find in the duel here. That's what I'm like aiming for, hoping to include in this video. If they are going to be pit up against each... Whoa, <laughs> double confused. Um, but anyway, if that happens, He's gonna die and she's gonna win because of her constant healing she should end up taking him out she deals more damage even more damage to dark element heroes and she heals up so i think in a one-on-one -on -one battle between the dark element cassidor and seraph ariel she is gonna be the victorious one but we shall see if we if i can find a jewel where she is in that is but um i'm we're gonna, I'm just gonna continue. I don't play PvP duels much, but I am gonna continue until we find such a battle. It has to happen. Oh yes it does. It's, it's gonna be there. It's gonna happen. Oh yes it is. Come on Cassidor. Shine some, shine some magic on this. Let's see. Away with the, away with the, with the easy ones here. Why are you, I mean, when I played this the last time, there were Seraph Ariels all over the place in every battle. I even had a battle with two Seraph Ariels. Now I can't find a single one, so come on. Where are you hiding all the angels, man? What do we have here? More not Seraph Ariels. Well, okay, we're just gonna be grinding through it. We're gonna, I mean, this might be a long video, guys, but we're gonna find it. We are gonna grind until we find one so that we can pit them up against each other. And see who is the strongest Cassidor Demon Scourge or Seraph Ariel. And I hope I hope to be proven wrong, but I have a pretty good feeling that Seraph is gonna be is still the best hero in terms of like mindless autoplay kind of PvP systems because she just regenerates way too much whenever she attacks. But we shall see. This time, I hope it's gonna be this time. Come on. Come on. No. Not this time. Nope, it wasn't this time, but it's gonna happen. And okay, we're gonna get stunned now. We're gonna get stunned. That's okay. Because Ariel can pretty much win any battle. Okay, so we're not getting stunned because they are getting confused. Battle teach your cattle team leader you are no longer in the game. You're no longer in the game. Too bad for you. Too bad for you. Oh yes it is. So come on, give me a Seraph Ariel so that I can pit up Cassidor against her. Let me know guys in the comments if you guys want me to put Cassidor as a rep hero. If you want to be playing around with him, I will gladly do that. Oh, we have her. Now it's time to get uh, to get Jacob with it. Oh, and Warlord Lubu. Wow, 
This is going to be a cool battle. Wow, that is really cool. So we have, and we have Mira, <laughs> and we have Lady Sun. Okay, well, they are now confused. And should I just load up here and attack? Yeah, we need to clear things out a little bit. Ariel is going to be the last hero standing on the opponent side, I am sure of it. Even even like Lubu, even though he buffs up and stuff, we can ignore the defense with Cassidor, so it's, it's not gonna be much of a problem <laughs> unless Ariel spanks him. That is actually a chance. Like the opponent's Ariel might actually take him out, but we will see. We will see, so come on. Come on. Yeah, all right, we're almost there. We're almost there. And now, the opponent's Ariel <laughs> is of course damaged, and she's not going into an infinite loop of attacking herself, which is a shame, that would have been fun, but yeah, this is where it all happens. So die Lubu so we can pit up Ariel against Cassidor. Alright, come on man. There we have it. Alright, so time to go cray cray. Let's see how many attacks we lost. Look at that, she is max healing and he's already gone. He's already gone. That is how strong Seraph Ariel is. My Cassidor was maxed Elixir's gear, I maxed level. She just spanked him in a few attacks. So anyway guys, that was what I had to share in this video. Cassidor Demon Scourge, the new hero shop hero. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing. I absolutely love you guys.